Oh, that reeks. Tuna. Tuna, vinegar, and onions. He's so weak willed. We love you guys. <laughs> we need some subscribers. We do, we need the subscribers. It's too long a time to wait. Shall we go now? Yeah. Come on then. Good morning, guys. As you can see, it's 131 days to go. We wish it was 30. Well, we wish it was one, don't we? I'm going to look at holidays today and book something. We've got the Westwood money. We've worked his asses off for eight years non-stop. We deserve a holiday. Well, yesterday you were almost having like spinal surgery where you were moaning. Well, I suppose I should just wait for that to heal. So. Heal? Yeah. You've pulled a bloody muscle. Who, who doesn't go on holiday because the back's got a bad back? As if you can go to Disney and go and ride and stuff. Don't talk wet, you sat on them. Anyway. Don't be filming my box shots. Nobody wants to look at your ass. <laughs> um, can you go make some toast, please? No. What do you mean, no? It's fruit. So as you can see, the sun just gone in. was shining, and um, you can see the hat. The only the only thing about this yet, I haven't broken the beak. You know when you get a new hat? You do not break that beak. No, you don't break it, you bend it, so it's curved like that. It's still brand new at the minute. I don't want to do it till we get to Florida, because yeah. it's my prize and joy. And you make sure that it's attached to your head for every ride. Don't right? worry, I'll be velcroing it to my scalp. Or right, maybe I'll just take two. Or not put right, not put hats on when I go on rides. Perhaps. Are you busy in the kitchen again? <laughs> what? Oh, that reeks. Tuna. Tuna, vinegar and onions. 24 hours old. Ugh. Well, if you clean up after yourself when what you're doing it. Doing? I'm actually cleaning up after you as well. Well, it's about time you did something. Oh my God. Let's not go there. So anyway, exciting news. Two bits of exciting news for us. We're going in the hot tub. Might help me back, that's what I'm thinking. Nice warm hot tub. And we've just booked tickets to go and see the live action Aladdin on Friday. With at our, the cinema, not the show. Yes, at the cinema. Um, with our friends Jack and Richard. Then we're going to take them to that um, little cafe Sumo. restaurant called Summer that we went to the other day. The Pan-Asian one. Katsu chicken. Ooh, yes. Lots of clouds come now. All right, we need to get the, um, the cushions in then. It's the exciting things I have to do while you vlog. Well. Right, get Go on then. Right. Do you want some music on? Hot tub time. Shall I put some music on? Nobody can't hear it when the hot tub's on anyway. It's really loud. No. No. I don't want it on. Right, we're about to go in that hot tub there and have a very nice 45 minutes, which will hopefully help my back. In the hot tub? Yeah. You'll have to press the button three times. Oh no. My no, back, no, no. my back's poorly. Well, you I do 15 minutes then and then you're done after 15 minutes. Did you enjoy that little hot tub session? You've got to feel a bit full. You feel a bit what? Right, shaky now. It's because you've been in sauna and steam room no, probably. No, no, I felt shaky before I got in. I know, but it's doing well anyway. Are you going to nix Tesco now because you're going to create a meal tonight, aren't you? Why? Well, I can't vlog that on my own drive, can I? You're going to have one on your own anyway. I can't decide whether we'll have um, pear, walnut and blue cheese chicken salad. Yeah, that's what I want. Or we'll have risotto, butternut, butternut squash and sun-dried tomato risotto, which I really fancy. We'll have that tomorrow night and we'll have the walnut salad tonight. Mm -hmm. And we'll watch a film. Then you're going to Tesco. Go and get it out. Go on. No, go on. No, go on. No, go on. No, no, no. We're just having a chill in the sun, aren't we? Oh, it's like being on holiday. Unfortunately, there's a big cloud coming that's going to take the sun uh, in about five minutes and then it's going to be gone for 20, 30 minutes. It's super exciting and go to Tesco and buy all the ingredients for our teas for the next two days. Very healthy Ooh. diet. Uh, why don't you do it on your own? Just explain what we've just been doing for the last hour. No, we've just been looking for things. Oh, that, that, that everybody knows now what that Because it's bank holiday next week, we're taking the girls out one day, so we thought, well, let's have a look, see if we can get a few days away somewhere. But everywhere's booked, everywhere's fully booked, as it will be on bank holidays. No, it's holidays. not. No, it's not. You're too tight to spend the money on them. That's what it is. We could have done four days in Newquay for like 350 quid, but no. Scrooge wants to save it for a week after, so he can, he can go on holiday, rather than giving the kids memories. It's such a tight ass. Right, we're out and about. What's the temperature? It's only 13, but it's beautiful around back of the lodge. I've been there. Burning my face, this is. I'm speeding. Shut up. I've been at the back of the lodge, enjoying the sun. I didn't take a chair though, because I couldn't be bothered, because I only spent there five minutes. Anyway, I'm rambling. We're on our way to Tesco, because Nick fancies making tonight a sweet potato risotto. No, I don't. Eh? That's not what I'm making. What is it then? 
I'm making a butternut squash and sun-dried tomato risotto. That too. So we've got to go and get the ingredients. And um, then Nick's going to do his little chef impression. My little culinary. And cook. And then tonight we're going to watch another Disney live action film. This time we're going to watch Cinderella. Which I know Nick is looking forward to. Oh yeah. What would it be the From one real life princess to another. So we're also going to get a meal for tomorrow night as well, aren't we? We're going to have tomorrow a walnut pear chicken and cheese salad. That's good excellent. Blue cheese. Yeah. Pear and walnut pear, walnut and blue cheese salad with chicken. And tonight I'm going to try a face mask, I think. One of the bubble ones. I've never tried one before. Somebody messaged me and said they're really good. So I don't know what they're all about, do you? Bubble face mask. I wouldn't have a clue. It's all like that hideous Mickey one that you have. No, no, face. no. It's just not. I'm going to try that. Right, so off to Tesco we go. Come on. Right, here you go. I've got your Walt Disney World bag for you. Right, I'm doing my uh, list. Shopping list. I'm doing Come my list on. Google Keep. Come on. Shopping bag. Can you wait, please? Come on. What's wrong with you now? You what are you moaning at? Nick's. I've got that in one hand, I've got that in the other, and you want me to get stuff off the shelf, and you weren't even vlogging. I've got a camera in my hand, and a, and a Tesco I'm trolley in my hand. I'm vlogging it because I've just told you so. Find some blue cheese, I need some blue cheese. Um, blue cheese slices? Don't be a chap. <laughs> I hate it when he tells me to find something and then I can't find it. Are you struggling? Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> yeah. Are you struggling? Yeah, you are. No. I'm not. Don't get scan it. There you go. Right, come on now. And no, you're not going to alcohol aisle. I've told you we're not drinking. That's me. Hungry. We're enjoying the back of the lodge because that's where the sun is. We're having some sun bites. Um, sun ripened sweet chili flavour. I'm talking to sun. Sun's out. Oh, point the camera at the sun. Shut up. It's nice and warm out here. We've just got the chairs out. We're going to have 10 minutes before I go and make the risotto. Well, oh. Well, you're going to help me. Oh, look, you can see in our spare room. Very quaint. So oh. let's enjoy 10 minutes of being here, and then we'll go and cook. Okay. Is it ready now? I've got everything. This cooking life doesn't, just, just doesn't seem the same without a gin, does it? I know. Maybe I'll just have one. Mm, not till next month. So I'm making butternut squash with sun-dried tomatoes. I'd like to use fresh, but they didn't have any at Tesco, so I've had to get jarred. So what I'm going to do is that's just a normal butterscuss. 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 Butter butterscuss. A butternut squash, which I've chopped up, I'm going to microwave that so that it's tender fork, um, whatever the same. Fork is. tender. Yeah, fork tender. I'm going to um, cook the onions until they're sauteed with the garlic, and I've actually got some smoked garlic as well to give it a bit of extra flavour. Which I found at Tesco. You did. Um, I'm then going to add some cream cheese and some um, some of this actually. And you're going to get the boreal rice cooking. I'm going to add some bouillon powder. It's basically like chicken stock, but it's vegetable bouillon but it tastes like chicken. So while Nick gets started on that, I'm off to do thumbnail for yesterday's video. Oh my God, you know, you're just gonna get- I'm just Shut gonna... up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I've got to do thumbnail every day, so just get over it. So the onions and the smoked garlic have gone in. I may have a little bit more garlic Ooh, actually. I smell that. When it's finished, don't drop it. Mm. So in there, there's a bit of oil, full packet of chopped white onions and some garlic. That's gonna go now and be sauteed and we'll come back when that's done. You're so weak-willed. You've got a bit of fluff on your camera. You're so weak-willed. I can't cook. This is an essential ingredient of cooking. Weak. Cooking with Nick has gin. Weak. Not weak. I want a gin. Simple as that. So what's this in here? Right, so in. This is the uh, bouillon powder. So it's like a stock. It's vegetable stock, basically. However, I might add a chicken stock cube as well. Depending on how it tastes. So I've got it ready. Can we see what's going on in so here? So there's going to be a lot of steam, so I'll be prepared. So the onions are still cooking with the roasted garlic, the smoky garlic. And if you could smell what this smells like, smell of it. it's like unbelievable, isn't it? I'm going to have to get into my slacks while like you're cooking. It's a rich smell. And the bottom is, is still cooking in the microwave. How long have you put it in the microwave for? Well, it's been in about 10 minutes now. So let me stop it. It's fork tender. Tender stem. It's tender stem? I think you're talking about broccoli. Whatever. It's Is it still pork tender. No, it's still rock hard. Get it back on then. Right, the onions are done. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do, just add a little bit of oil, and then I'm going to. What are you going to do? What are you going to? Going to chuck in the arborio rice. 
which is risotto rice. And fry the rice for about two or three minutes just to coat it with the with the fat. And then it's ready for the stock to go in and that will form the base of the risotto. So I'm just going to pop the lid on and we'll be back in a second. Right, so the butter nut's out of the microwave and I'm just going to... Fork tender now. Yes, fork tender. So I'm just going to drain all the water off. So we had to Google how to cook it, didn't we? No. In a microwave. No, I knew what to make it. We weren't sure. No, we did. We knew so what I, I quickly Googled it and yeah, you can microwave it as you can see. So there we go. Nice so and easy, isn't it? To one side for when... You'll, if you put it in now, it'll go on mushy and collapse. So it needs to go in in the last sort of 10 minutes. And now another gin. Ooh. Not until June 16th for me. Right, so the Oborio rice has now toasted a little bit. So I'm going to add the stock. You've got to put a litre of stock for a, a, a bag of this, which is I think it's 900 grams, I think it was. It makes that lovely sound. Two litres, well a full litre, which is half a litre per tub of water in there, so a full litre of stock will be fully absorbed and you might have to put a little bit more in just to keep it thick until it's cooked. So that's the second litre of, no, not litre, second half litre. And now that just goes on a simmer until all that liquid's been absorbed. And it needs to be not, not like rice pudding and not too gritty, but you need to keep testing it and keep constantly stirring it. And then once that's ready, you add the butternut, add the sun-dried tomatoes and half a tub of Philadelphia, stir and serve. Is it time for cream cheese? Not yet, I'm still waiting for the rice to absorb all the water. I'm just stirring it for you, it. stirring it for you. I can't do too much because my back's hurting. Oh, give me a break. So, one fact, you, know, you might not be aware of this. I figured this out this morning. This is our 465th vlog that we've done. And I've been daily vlogging since the 24th of November. 465th vlog. And I've probably edited 454 of them. Get lost. You've probably done 380 maybe. Yeah, but I do the daily daily stuff at home in that in the real world, and you sit at the laptop and do. You don't do daily nails. stuff at home. You don't, at home. you don't do daily stuff at home at home. I do. I have to make sure that the accounts that come in are all accurate and that there's no errors. And I have to wake up every morning at 1 a.m. and check that we get the summary email and the two deposit emails to the bank. You don't know about that. You drink gin and cook. That's what you do every day. Well, I do all the work. I clean and I look after you as well. Here's another little fact. We slept in separate beds last night. Oh, it was bliss. Are you going in there again tonight? <laughs> uh, because my back was hurting that much, I didn't want to be disturbing Nick. So he disturbing went... Disturbing me? Disturbing. Nick went and um, slept in the other room. And it was nice, actually, because I wasn't disturbed until 7am this morning when I was still fast asleep. Nick came in and goes, are you awake? Yeah, but what did I do? When you, I came in... You left then. Don't lie. What did you do? I came and gave you a peck on cheek. <laughs> Didn't oh, I? I would rather have stayed asleep. Well, tomorrow morning you can do. Because you're back in the other room tonight. I wasn't in the other room last night. Mm, it's Nick, a little bit chewy still. Nick was nice actually and let me have the main bedroom. I did. Only because you had to lay on your left hand side. I'm going to have to do the same again tonight. You would have had to have my side at bed and I don't like that. It's so. not as bad this today, but I still have to be careful in bed. Right. Back to what we're doing. And no, you... no, no. What? I want your help. Is it time for uh, more ingredients? No, I've, put, I've actually put the chicken stock cube in because I want it to be a little bit more saltier than what it is. And I'm actually going to put some more smoked um, garlic in as well. Right, so all the rice has now um, absorbed all the water. And it's, n it's not chewy and it's not sloppy. It's just right. And by the time it's served, the residual water will have been soaked up. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Philadelphia. I've actually put some more smoked garlic in as well, by the way. Philadelphia or any cream cheesing of your choice. Yeah, any cream cheesing. Fre creme fraiche is quite refreshing and nice. So that'll do for toast tomorrow. If you wanted tomorrow. to make it vegan, you'd have to... Put soya that. cheese, cream cheese or something. I think everything else is pretty much vegan. You could even put some like fresh yogurt in there. Or some maybe Alpro or something like that. So I'm just going to mix this in and get it fully mixed up and then we'll be back to add the two final ingredients and then we'll do a taste test. Mm. Right, so we're ready. So the cream cheese has been mixed in and it tastes now of perfect consistency. Mmm, amazing actually, really creamy. So a jar of 
sun dried tomatoes. I prefer fresh, but these actually do taste not bad actually. So I'll put the whole jar in, get rid of that. And then we will mix in the butternut that we cooked earlier. And then you've got to be careful with this now because if you whip it too much, it'll go quite sloppy. So I'm just going to fold in all these new ingredients and let them warm through. And then it's pretty much ready to serve. So this is a real nice vegetarian meal. And as Lee said, if you swap the, um, the cream out for a soya cream, it's a pure vegan one as well. And as I also said, it'd be really nice with a, a big chunk of garlic bread. Fortunately, we're on a diet. Yeah, so. right. Now this will actually do at least four portions, big portions as well. So we will be having this for tomorrow night's tea and then we'll have the pear and walnut salad the night after. And there we go, it's ready to serve. Garnish with a little bit of spinach. You could actually put some spinach in it and mix it up if you want a little bit of iron. You but, gonna do um, a taste test? Um, I will, I'll not do it from the box, I don't want to spoil it, but I'll do it from the dish. So here we go. Mmm. Nice. Yes. The garlic is really, you can taste a lot of garlic. Smoky. Mmm. Very nice. That is absolutely amazing, that. That's the best risotto I've done. It's even better than my salmon risotto. Let's go eat. You've got to try it. <sighs> we did it again. We fell asleep and didn't finish the vlog. Goodbye. So it's now the following morning. Lee sat at the PC. Editing. He's actually going to be stuck to that chair when he goes to sleep on a night because he sits there like from morning noon till night. I don't know how Nick expects us to have a daily vlogging channel and not edit daily. How long, does it, how long does it take to edit a vlog? It's all right. Ryan, Ryan, how long does it take to edit? But I've got to do it when I get up. So how come you're there for six? I'm not. So Nick's enjoying himself sat out in the sun while I'm here in the shade editing like a slave horse. Yes, we'll save that for today's vlog. Let's finish this one first. So guys, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button below, click the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, share us on your social media, and tell everybody you can. We need the subscribers and we love you guys. <laughs> we need some subscribers. We do, we need the subscribers. So anyway, see you tomorrow on tomorrow's vlog, today for us. Confused? Oh well. Bye!